Hi, I'm Jen Schlauk, and I'm currently in the middle of a desert bee mating fest. These are desert ground nesting bees in the genus Diadasia. Most of the time they forage for food on their own, and unlike honeybees, each mother raises her own babies. But they form these communal nest aggregations that lie in the gray area between solitary life and true sociality. These nest sites can have anywhere from a few dozen to thousands of nests. Group nesting sites can remain in the same place year after year, and young bees may return to their mother's nesting sites the following season. Today is a nice warm day in late March. Many of the bees are active right now, and females are emerging to dig the first nests of the season. Male bees compete to be the first to mate with the females. That's them buzzing around now. Sometimes several males will attack the same newly emerged female and will fight in these mating balls until someone wins. Female bees will spend hours making these elaborate turrets over their nest holes. These may be used to prevent dust, parasites from getting in, to help the bee identify her home in the neighborhood, and to thermoregulate the nest in this windy and ever-changing desert climate. Beneath these turrets, diadasia tend to form these long vertical tunnels that lead to a few chambers where she will lay her eggs. Each egg gets its own pollen loaf, a nutrition mix of pollen and nectar that will feed the larva as it grows to adulthood. These desert bees create these sites in part to make it easier to find a mate. However, high densities lead to more male-male competition and increased danger of being seen by predators like mockingbirds and parasitic flies. This is just one of the hundreds of bee species found in North American deserts. Global bee diversity is highest in the deserts across the United States Southwest, encouraged by lots of dry soils to nest in, diverse wildflowers, and a warm climate. It's great that this nesting site is at the field station, so we'll hopefully be safe and healthy for years to come. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a beautiful day.